Now, these little chickies are now uh, just over three weeks old. They're getting more feathers and they're of course cuter than ever, but um, I think it might be time to start gradually transitioning them to a larger enclosure. Um, and I wanna transition them to this enclosure, but I wanna do some work on it to make sure that they don't get too chilly. I'm definitely gonna put some cardboard on the floor so that it's not on the concrete. Um, I mean, it's June and it is getting warmer outside. Whoops. Okay, so I brought the X-Pen outside so I could be more comfortable and have more room to work. Um, I need a large piece of cardboard to make a bottom that will help to insulate them from the cold floor. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to break down this box. Um, this, um, my handsome husband got me this beautiful fire pit for my birthday. I'm going to break it down. Break it down! Hammer time! Okay, I broke down the cardboard and it's a good size. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it so that it can rest on the inside. I'm going to put the zip out cover on the bottom. This cardboard will go on top of that. I've got the x over my piece of cardboard on the deck. I'm just going to trace around and then I'm going to cut it to fit. So I got my Sharpie marker. Jugsy. Hey, buddy. You're so cute. Hi. Who's the sweetest old man dog ever? Is that you? I think it is. You're pretty cute. Buddy. Okay, so it is traced. I'm going to get rid of this. My knife is very much not sharp. Let's see what we could do. That wasn't so bad. Okay. So the cardboard fits in there pretty good. I'm just going to make it better and then I'll show you what we came up with. Okay. I'm pretty pleased with how it fits and every bit of it has at least two layers of cardboard so that'll be good insulation against the um, the uh, concrete floor in the garage. I just don't want them to get chilled. Um, I'm now going to see about waterproofing it. Okay, well this is what I ended up coming up with. It's got two layers of cardboard, and this, I covered it with an old, um, an old shower curtain liner. That's what it's called. I covered it with an old shower curtain liner. Let's make sure that it still fits. But it should be waterproof, because, you know, it's a shower curtain, right? And that fits good. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I like that this will give insulation from the cold floor. And also, if we need to pick pick this up with the chicks and like move the chicks somewhere else, this hard bottom will be like when we lift it up that it won't like fold up or the chicks won't like, I don't know, sag down or whatever. It'll just make it easier if, if the chicks are in here and we want to pick them up and move them without removing them from the the X-Pen. All right. Well, let's put some chicks in it. It's time for the chicks to go into their new enclosure. They're now just a little over three weeks old and I figured that as I transfer them, I'll let you see each chick so you can see how much they've grown. And let's see who's first. If you move really slowly, you're less likely to spook them. These chickens are going to be kind of like 
bulletproof anyway. Like my other chickens are unflappable, if you will pardon the pun, because they are used to like having a bazillion dogs bark at them. Besides my own dogs, every single foster dog I've ever had loves to bark at the chickens. to be harvest. Uh -huh. Okay. This one is seven of nine. This is Carol's chick, seven of nine. And I, oh my God, she's gotten so big. And you should see the other one of these um Americanas. Yeah, they're <laughs> the other one's huge. The other one is Nurse Chapel. So you're the first one in the new enclosure. But, oh, don't be scared. I'll get you a friend real soon. You're going to be happy in there. Who wants to be next? Oh, how about you, Nurse Chapel? This is the really big girl of the group. That's Nurse Chapel. And she's really chill, too. I mean, she's just a really... Whoop. She's just really snuggly and nice. I just have a feeling that, like, for some reason, the really big hens... And, and she's like a big girl. The big ones are always so snuggly. There, now you have a friend. What do you think? Okay, who's next? Okay, the one with the darker beak, I think is Beverly Crusher. So I'm pretty sure that this one, oh honey, don't worry baby. What? Beverly's not too happy with me, so I'm not going to hold her for very long because she seems nervous. But she's doing really good. Hey, buddy. Yeah. That's a really good one. Oh, somebody's establishing a pecking order. Hi. Okay, boy. Oh, I know. So this one is Counselor Troy. See how big they've gotten? Ooh, you wanna fly? You wanna jump off and there you go. That's good exercise for your wings. Two left. Hi guys. I know, I know, I know. This is Guinan, and look how big Guinan has gotten. Here you go. And last but not least, and you can tell she's really loud, which is good for the communications officer. Or Okura. Oh, I know Okura. Okura is the loud one. There's Okura. Alright, let's put them all in here. Oh, that was a pretty noise. She's making like really pretty chirps. There you go, guys. Oh, that was pretty neat. I'm gonna um, let you guys see what they look like in there. I have to turn this around and I'm not good at it. <laughs> Look at them in there. Now I'm going to keep a really good eye on them and make sure that they are not acting cold or anything. And I can adjust that light closer or farther away as I think that they need it. Um, I could also... Oh, look what I could do. Look what I could do. I could... Film you guys this way. Look at that. This little X pen that Carol got me is such a neat little thing. 
and I just made it even more versatile by making that hard cardboard and waterproof floor. Oh, they're getting, they're settling in. They're eating. There you go, guys. Sweeties. Okay. Okay. Well, I lowered their light and I put a blanket over their enclosure for overnight just to make sure that they stay nice and warm. They seem really happy in there. Yeah, cute little guys. Good night.